So before I start this review, I want to let you guys know that you can now get this new Channel 12 Review Design t-shirt at teesprings.com slash stores slash Channel 12. Get them now while they last. Channel number 12 here, and welcome back to another food review. Today we are checking out Swish LA once again, and no, I'm not doing desserts. Uh, you guys know that I have done three Swish LA reviews before, and they were all on desserts. So I thought I would do something different today, uh, since uh, we didn't really know what to cook for dinner. So I thought, let's just order some Swish LA. I was looking throughout their app, and I was trying to see if I can find something that is new and that I can review for you guys. And the only thing that I had seen that, that was actually fairly new, it was their crispy chicken. And you guys all know that uh, Swish LA is very famous for their rotisserie chicken. So they thought, okay, let's come up with something different. They came up with uh, crispy chicken, almost like KFC, Popeyes, all the uh, franchise that we're kind of familiar with. So I ordered Swish LA. Uh, we ordered this family deal where you get like four sides. I think you get four buns, the chicken, and then, like I said, the fries, the buns, things like that. It was like $53 for this family deal. That fed all of us. So we got the chicken right here. We got two boxes like that. Um, the family and I, we finished one box. There was like five pieces. I had one. My girlfriend had one. Uh, and then the rest of my family had like one each. So, you know, it was big pieces too. So it wasn't like you had to eat like two or three. There was like big pieces, which I kind of like because they kind of remind me of Popeyes. Because when Popeyes give you uh, crispy chicken, they give you big pieces. You guys all know. For those who do go to Popeyes, you guys know what I mean. So I got my crispy chicken right here. Smells really good. It's like the first, the first thing that you smell is that deep fried flavor. <laughs> you know, like deep fried, but. It does look good too. So let's try take one piece. Okay, so we got, we'll take this one. See how big it is? So I mean, like, you don't need to eat two or three of these. You all you need is one. So I'm probably gonna eat a half of this, and I'll probably save the rest for tomorrow. Maybe we'll have some of that for some lunch. So and it's crispy. That's the thing about this, it's crispy. Okay, so I broke a piece off. And I always like to skin the actual, not really the skin, but the actual, uh, you know, the deep fried part. The chicken is so moist. Can you eat a bone? The chicken is so moist. It's the, the batter that kind of keeps everything so moist, you know? Another bone, some chicken. Try to see if I can get some more. Like, oh yeah, right here. Look at that. Look at that white meat. The juices just locks in when when you're deep frying it. When it comes to white meat, if you don't do it proper, you can really make the white meat chicken very dry, very hard to swallow. But I'm not sure how Swish LA really did this to perfect it, but the juicy chicken is moist, was delicious. Meat is just falling off. like. So delicious. Look at that. The strength, uh, like fiber of the chicken. It's so good. Chicken's so good. I feel like that, and I'm not sure if anyone else kind of agrees with me, but I feel like that there's a lot of like batter. Look at this. 
Guarantee that's probably all batter right here. The chicken is really delicious. I mean, don't get me wrong. The, the chicken, there's nothing wrong with the chicken. They must have marinated the chicken in something because that chicken is flavored. There's so much flavor. Actually, I'm quite surprised, but I think I did finish the entire piece of chicken. Yeah, I actually did. It's actually pretty good. The batter, the only thing I felt it was kind of like a disappointment was the batter. The batter was kind of thick. It wasn't as crispy as I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping like a batter like from KFC, uh, but their own original recipe. But don't get me wrong. The chicken was phenomenal. It was so good. It was tender. It was juicy. It was so flavored. The batter had a bit of a spice to it, so it had a little bit of a heat, but just a little too much batter for my liking. But in overall, it was really good. It's not something that I would buy again. Uh, I would rather just go to KFC for crispy chicken. Uh, when I go to Switch LA, I just like my rotisserie chicken. That's just my preferred uh, taste and flavor uh, for chicken. But it's kind of unique how Switch LA just came out with something different besides their rotisserie chicken. For this, I'm going to give a rating of three out of five. Still pretty tasty, but for not, not really for my liking. But if you guys have tried the crispy chicken from Sochalet, Chalet, let me know in the comment section below on what you guys thought about it. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. As always, if you guys did and you guys want to see more Switch Chalet reviews, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe as always. Don't forget to turn on my post notification on so you never miss a review. All my links plus social media will be in the description. So do follow me as always on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming reviews. So until next time, peace out.